what's up guys welcome back to biker bros so hope you enjoyed the last set of videos don't forget to go and check those over so i've got a slight issue with my ktm 200 exc it's 2001 the thing that bothers me is the fact that as you probably can tell from all the previous videos i keep complaining that there's no power band it's not kicking in and that is really annoying me now it's got to a point where i'm like do you know what i've cleaned the power valve i've taken the head back off and i've sorted it all out on the time in front however i'm still not convinced i thought i had it back for a moment but i don't think so so what am i going to do i hate this word if i'm wrong don't shoot me centrifugal centrifugal uh timer i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna have a look to see if those four bearings inside are all aligned see if it's all working correctly it's going to be a little bit of a, a lengthy sort of project not for video wise but obviously for time wise because i'm in and out of the country all the time so yeah i've got the bike a nice clean over and it's all sorted when i say clean i haven't really gone to death on it with all like the acid on the wheels and stuff but it's it's done its job so it's time to drop the oil and i've heard only use the left hand side by there just so you don't strip it yeah it's gonna be fun i have a history of stripping uh and then once that's done then i'm gonna then drain off the coolant and start taking it apart to have a look inside and see what we can do i think the one thing that scares me the most about a bike that i haven't been in is what am i gonna find what is threaded and this is normally most of the time the one thing that is threaded and it was so stiff to say the least that god knows what this is going to be like it's coming out smooth so far check the threads then this should be the magnetic one so we shall see save that oh there is a lot of shit in there and that is gray How are you doing? Let's just say I'm not a happy bunny. Why? You ever seen oil that colour? No, why is it that colour? Fuck no. So, if you're looking here now for an answer to your grey oil, that looks a wonderful grey, like a primer grey, then don't be too concerned because obviously I started to panic and realized, no, it's because there's aluminium clutch plates. And this is a very common thing on the KTM 200 EXE that they use aluminium clutch plates and that causes all the oil to go gray. So panic over. So the next step is then to remove the coolant from here, which I've done a couple of times already. And this should be a slight blue color. Ready. Wait. Doing it up. Should be able to go up by hand, a little tight, and give it a nick. You can talk it if you want. This is the stuff I don't tend to talk because. I don't always trust the torque when it comes to these sort of bolts. So the next section now is to take all this apart and take it off. Starting with obviously the water pump that I'll remove and then obviously I'll take off my kickstart, my brake lever and then I'll know where all my bolts go because I put them into a little order on a cardboard box so I know just for me just in case there's different lengths. Uh, and that's just my way of working things. One thing I do have a concern over is a potential hairline fracture in the case by there. So I need to get to that. There is also, I don't know if you can see, some silicone seal by here. I don't know why it's there, but we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll find out. Ooh, job. We, there's one of the cogs, there's a centrifugal arm. And then we are inside. 
my gasket is intact. So, have a listen to this. Doesn't that sound like the bearings have gone? So if it helps, the way I've done it is I've had to undo that bolt. Be careful, there's a couple of washers underneath there as well. And a 10 mil ratchet to go onto the hex inside here. So just by there. And then while you're working that, it's pushing the bearing out. Which isn't a problem because it will help then and it should just pop out and just like so which then frees the little beast up he says just take note of what position things go in as well because you never want to be in a situation where you don't know where things come from see there's the pin by there but I can't hear while showing you and then you can knock that pin out or it falls out like so and then bring that out careful because there's the balls just inside like so and there's the four little balls that I have a feeling have been causing me my aggro so the way to do it then to position them back in it's not going to be the most funnest of things, but we will do it. We'll find a way to do that. So use the other end, like so. Place your finger in the middle, like so. Get your ball back. <laughs> you get it. Right. How to come up with a good solution for this? Right. Simple. The screw that goes into it is by there. Like so. So if I use that, place this on top, and that disperses there. See if this works. Well, we know that that's there so far. I then have to compress to see that, which when I say that you can't see because it is quite tough. All right, so let me try and show you how I'm going to do this because this is the whole point of it I want to show you so I'm using my leg there I'm placing the pin back inside and that is then inside cool time to pop it back in make sure that the climbing arm goes back into this section by there and onto there so the moment of truth then is to pop it in so it hooks in just there that will bring it down with it and that sat back in like so you've obviously got your bearing hanging out on this side so make sure you get that back in and i'll probably put a bit of grease onto that now on that side and get that seated in there so it's all back together topped up the oil just got to put in the coolant so I had to go out and get some of that we shall see a bit of air back and then obviously take it for a spin top it up again that whole procedure all right, let's find out if it worked or is it still flat. So the good news is guys, I have a power band and it is incredible. I'm so happy it worked. So follow the steps that I've done in this video. Uh, if you're happy with it all, 
um, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe until the next time